Hi, I'm really excited to be here. Thanks to Ed and uh, the rest of the Strata team for inviting us. Uh, I'm from a company called MetaLayer. We uh, build tools that allow for the drag and drop discovery of insights from data. And we do this because we feel data should be more like art. Not everyone understands art, but we sketch and we doodle. We can now take the tools used to create art for granted. Um, it wasn't all the, always this way. In the 15th century, the most an artist could hope for was a perf uh, working relationship with an institution or organization that would sponsor their work. Um, here you see the Sistine Chapel in Vatican City. And what's interesting about this to me is um, it was commissioned. It was uh, the institution approaching the artist and asking them to uh, fulfill a need that they had. So art used to live in the domain of specialists. And it wasn't that long ago that math and science also belonged to the domain of specialists. Uh, and it wasn't until the development of simple tools like the abacus and later the calculator and eventually the, the systems of public education that this became um, a skill of the public. And this is really interesting to me uh, because I feel data science is in a similar position. Uh, right now, it belongs to the experts, uh, the professionals, those who've, who've studied and specialized in, in, in statistics and uh, various maths and programming, and it eludes the abilities of the public. And there's a, a huge risk here. When you look at the subprime mortgage crisis in the US, uh, we see the ramifications of uh, outsourcing our sole understanding of specific domains of knowledge to, to experts. Um, the, the challenge is the general, the layman, the person in the public, doesn't have the ability to uh, understand the, the systems in, with, in which they're interacting. Uh, so, for instance, this. This is um, uh, the picture of, of who owns someone's mortgage. And to navigate this, <laughs> to navigate this as, uh, as a homeowner is incredibly confusing. It's incredibly complex. And this complexity, uh, it pervades society. Like, we're, we're living in a society that's becoming more and complex, more and more complex by the day. Um, on Wall Street, algorithms regularly outnumber, outpace, and outperform the human workers uh, that hold those positions. And the, the skills to develop the, those algorithms actually belong to even fewer of those individuals, and the, the skills to understand how all these algorithms talk to each other belongs to even fewer. And this makes me think of a quote from Galileo, which says, the universe cannot be read until we've learned the language and become familiar with the characters in which it is written. Meaning, uh, in this case, in order to hope for the best outcomes of the systems that we interact with, we need to be able to understand them. And so we feel at MetaLayer that the public should be equipped with tools to understand complex systems. Um, the reason why they lack these skills isn't a great conspiracy. It's just the fact that uh, these are really hard subjects. Statistics is hard. Data visualization uh, increasingly becoming hard. Uh, math's hard. Not everyone's going to be able to participate in the same level. But we feel it's our responsibility as engineers to build better tools that cross barriers of knowledge and allow people to participate uh, in the, the data process. Uh, when you think of the earliest search engines, they did this incredibly well. They, they took what was once uh, the domain of experts, a specialty, information retrieval, and they made it common practice. No one thinks about what goes on under the hood anymore. They just do it. They know what they're looking for. And so this is incredibly important because people do great things when they're equipped with the tools to understand information and the information that they need. For the past few years, I've worked with an organization called Ushahidi. Ushahidi makes open source tools for disaster response. And the real innovation with Ushahidi isn't the fact that it allows anyone in the world to SMS a web server and have their, their distress signal uh, geolocated so emergency responders can find them. Uh, in my opinion, the real innovation is that it's as easy to deploy by the UN as it is by a small Congolese NGO. 
And so we feel there should be more tools that exist like this. Uh, so we're launching a new product today called Delve, which you see here. And Delve is a platform where anyone can come and discover insights from the world's information, a community of sort of amateur data scientists. They can create data visualizations, they can mash up data, and they can ask questions about the world's information. We feel there should be the equivalent of a calculator for, for unstructured information. So what does this look like? Uh, so here, you see a user interacting with our platform, and they have a huge affinity for politics. So they enter a few terms about one of the, the candidates that's in the news these days. Um, and what they're doing, and this is all real time, they're just entering some search terms on Twitter. They want to get a, a public sample of what people are saying. They could trust the Gallup polls, but maybe they don't. Maybe they want to find out for themselves or, or just see if it holds up. And so what they're doing is running sentiment analysis across this data set that they just created, and then they're very uh, quickly able to visualize that. So in seconds, they've got a, a quick snapshot of what this, this data set is saying about this particular candidate. Now, by no means is this comprehensive, but rather than just trusting the answer, it allows them to participate in the answer discovery process. And so if I can quote the late Steve Jobs, uh, who always used to say this, they, that at Apple, they wanted to take the best and spread it around to everyone. And that could be about their stock prices these days, but it's actually more about accessibility, the ability to um, make tools that enable the public to participate in ways that they couldn't before because they don't possess the skills to build those tools or they don't uh, possess the skills to uh, improve them. So at MetaLayer, we're working to make this possible. We'd like to see more tools that enable um, these big data technologies to become accessible to those who can actually use them, but who maybe can't afford them or who uh, lack the expertise to develop them themselves. Um, essentially, we'd like to see more calculators for data science. Thank you very much for your time.